Okay, so there's four options here. Uh, one of which, the last one, has never occurred to my knowledge. Um, it has occurred before we put it into the three spade opening, which is why we put it into the three spade opening. But uh, uh, since the time that Jason was dealt a 32 to 33 balanced hand, uh, it's never occurred since. Um, but uh, one of these days. So essentially, you can ignore the last one. Um, it's there just in case. So uh, there's three options. One is an Ackle gambling 3 no trump hand. Um, the second one is five to nine with the minors. And the third one is 11 to 15. And please note, this is, in fact, both of these are pretty rare because they're both six, six hands. Um, 11 to 15 with at least six, six in the majors. Can't be seven, five, must be six, six or seven, six. Um, So, probably 90% of the time, the three spade opening is an Accor gambling three no trump. Not surprisingly, so the three spade opening forces a response of three no trumps, whatever responder has. Um, there are a couple of exceptions, which we'll come to in a minute. Um, and 90% of the time, opener is going to pass that 3 no trump response because they'll have the Akol gambling 3 no trumps. Um, so the, the continuations essentially are as follows. So, a rebid of four clubs by opener shows the five to nine hand with both minors. And everything's natural except that four hearts is gambling clubs and four spades is gambling diamonds. And so now we've got relay beta and so on. Um, so if you just want to play in four clubs, you pass four clubs. If you want to play in four diamonds, you bid four diamonds. If you want to play in game in either minor, you just bid it. If you want to play um, in a major, tough. You can't do it. Um, I suppose you could you could bid five hearts or five spades. Um, but when... Uh, opener is at least 6-6, six, six, the likelihood of them having a void in your major is high. So it's unlikely that you're not going to have at least a doubleton in either minor. And if you have, you're probably better off just passing four clubs and hoping. Any questions so far? Okay. So the four diamond bid shows both majors. And everything is natural. Um, so you, if you want to just sign off in a major at the four level, you do that. Uh, again, if you want to play in a minor, tough. Can't do it unless you go to the sixth level. Um, five clubs is gamma in hearts and five diamonds is gamma in spades. So really, uh, responder has to be pretty strong because you're starting off at the five level. But you do know that uh, opener has an extremely distributional hand. 
that's the advantage. Um, so obviously if you use either of the gammas by bidding five clubs or five diamonds, then really beta and epsilons can follow, but there's not much room. So in the unlikely event <laughs> of uh, opener having 32 to 33 balanced, they rebid four no trumps and now we're just in a normal um, continuation. Uh, bear in mind if you want to invite to six no trumps you need to go via puppet stamen i.e. three spades, three no trumps, four no trumps, five clubs whatever response from uh, opener and then five no trumps is invitational to six. The point being that it's very unlikely that uh, responder is going to disturb four no trumps unless they have some values, meager though they may be. It may just be a couple of high card points even, you know, an odd queen somewhere. Um, but you're not going to, you know, if you've absolutely got a flat bust, the chances are that you're either going to transfer into a long suit or you're going to pass four no trumps if you've really got nothing. So almost anything that, that responder bids apart from a transfer um, is by definition going to end up as invitational. Okay, um, we're going to come to the exceptions in a minute where, where Responder doesn't bid uh, three no trumps, and there are a couple. Um, but any questions on the continuations over three spades, three no trumps? No, Charlene, sorry, you, you're, you are either, you've either got... an Accol gambling three no trumps, or you've got five to nine with both minors, or you've got if they've got the majors, they're always eleven to fifteen and six six. Yes. It's no good. You can't do this if you've got a seventeen count. You can't do this if you've got um a five to nine count. If you've got five to nine and six six, you just open three hearts. Right, sorry. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just have to repeat what I was saying before. I didn't realise you couldn't hear me. Um, yes, of course, there's some wiggle room, Charlene. Um, you know, 10 counts. If you're 6-6, six, six, you're almost automatically going to upgrade to 11 to 15. Um, but 11 to 15 ostensibly means that. So if you had, say a nine count with four controls, i.e. two aces, yes, I would upgrade that to 11 to 15. Um, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't just upgrade any old three, three heart opener to uh, three spades just because you're six, six rather than five, five. Okay. Anybody else got any questions um, before we move on to the exceptions where responder doesn't bid three no trumps. So on 90% of hands, they are going to bid three no trumps. But there are a few where you don't. Okay, so the exceptions, the first ones are the first one here is almost certainly a hand with a club void. And so what this is saying is if you've got a three spades, four clubs says if you've got an Accol gambling three no trumps based on a club suit, we can't afford to play in three no trumps because I haven't got any. I've got no means of reaching your hand. So, so four clubs 
um, it's almost certainly going to be a club void. Uh, even with a singleton, you would probably stand three no trumps. Um, okay, so the continuations over three spades, four clubs are as follows. <coughs> okay, so obviously if, if opener passes four clubs, then it's saying I've got an accord gambling three no trumps based on a club suit. Four diamonds shows the same hand but with diamonds and the expectation now is that opener is probably going to bid five diamonds but they might pass four diamonds um, if they're weak as well as having a club void. Four hearts shows the 11 to 15 hand with both majors. So over that pass and four spades are both natural and to play. Four no trumps is a general slam try. Um, an opener will normally cubid their void. Um, and uh, five clubs is gamma in hearts and five diamonds is gamma in spades. And now we would be in um, uh, an asking bid sequence. Right, so four clubs, that takes care of four clubs, pass, four clubs, four diamonds, and four clubs, four hearts. Four clubs, four spades shows the weak hand with both minors. And again, the expectation over there is that if uh, responder has a void in clubs, the chances are um, that five diamonds is probably going to be a reasonable place to play. Uh, again, unlikely, but if it ever happens, three spades, four clubs, four no trumps shows the 32 to 33 balanced. Right, let's have a look at a, a few examples of what we've seen so far. Um, The thing to note here is that South, when they bid three no trumps, is not guaranteeing that they can stop the other suits. Okay? Um, you know, it's fairly clear here that, that this is going to be a hand that's probably, uh, if it is a, a gambling three no trumps, it's going to be based on a club suit. I can't imagine you would bid a gambling three no trumps missing the king, queen, and diamonds. Um, but South is not promising that they can stop the other suits. It's a gambling bid. Um, if it's doubled, then uh, if the three no trump bid is doubled, then now Responder, um, and it should always be left up to Responder, uh, Responder can choose to to bid four clubs on this hand again 99% of the time uh, this is going to be an accord gambling three no trumps um, so four clubs will just be saying you know we're going to get crucified in three no trumps because um, I've got two suits wide open you know uh, and since we're doubled safer just to play in four clubs um, and obviously if, if openers got diamonds they would just convert to four diamonds but that's only if it's doubled if it's not doubled uh, then we just play where we play right another example let me just uh
So these offenders here can take um, four tricks, but that's the limit. Um, as soon as uh, they play a heart or a second round of diamonds or a fourth round of spades, uh, South is going to win the trick and take the rest. Okay, another example. And we're assuming, of course, here that, that East West are not playing OCP, otherwise, they'd be opening something maybe with the uh, East Hand. Might be opening two no trumps. So here, obviously, we've got a six-card minimum length for the gamma. So five diamonds is gamma in spades, but with a six-card minimum length. So Okay, so in the context of this hand, if uh, South has um, five controls, they pretty much have to be the ace of spades, the king of hearts, and an ace, a singleton ace in one of the minors, because they must be six six. And that's the only f the only five controls they can possibly have. So this one would make John Luke very happy. Um, we've got a 22 point Grand Slam. Okie coke. Okay. 
So three spades, four diamonds is exactly the same as the four club bid, except that it's probably a diamond void. Um, I say definitely wants to be in game or slam. Um, in practice, it doesn't really have to be that. Uh, but you, you inevitably are going to end up in game if Opener's got a, a gambling 3-0 trumps with clubs. But again, with a with a void in diamonds, that's a reasonable um, a reasonable thing to do. Okay, because um, if you've got a void in diamonds, your chances are you've got some club support. Uh, Okay, so over three spades, four diamonds, obviously pass shows an Akol gambling three no trumps with a diamond suit. Four hearts shows both majors. And again, a bit like over the, the four club bid, four no trumps a general slam try and opener will normally Q bid their void. Uh, five clubs and five diamonds are both gamma. Um, in each major respectively, the same as over four clubs. Uh, so three spades, four diamonds, four spades shows both minors and everything's now natural. And four no trump shows the, um, the strong balanced hand. And as I said before, uh, if opener's got a knackle gambling three no trumps with a club suit, they're going to bid five clubs. Any questions before we uh, before we move on? I don't think I've got any examples of four clubs or four diamond rebids. Okay. Um, right, where are we? Four hearts. Whoa. Right, so three spades, four hearts has to be basically a 16 plus hand with a spade shortage you've got to have hearts and both minors on the basis that that either opener's got both majors or they've got one minor or both minors and we can forget the strong balance because there's no way that opener can be um, 32 to 33 balanced if uh, responder has 16 plus. So whore hearts is hearts and both minors. It's a hand with a spade shortage. So as I said there, the only complicated ones arise when, when open has both majors. If they've got a minor, uh, well, you'll, you'll see in a minute. So if if opener has both majors um, they bid four spades. 
So hearts are now automatically agreed. So four spades is in the nature of a relay. And now So four no trumps is um, epsilon in spades. So this is this is when opener is eleven to fifteen with six six in the majors. Okay. Um, so four no trumps is epsilon in spades. Five diamonds is a cubid, showing first round control of clubs, and asking opener to bid six hearts with a diamond void and five hearts otherwise. That doesn't mean you're necessarily going to play in five hearts. It's just a way of finding out how good the fit is, whether you've got an ace opposite a void or an ace opposite a singleton. Five diamonds is the opposite of that. It's showing first round control of diamonds and asking open to bid six hearts with a void club and five hearts otherwise. It's just a way of checking on controls here, whether we've got duplication or a good fit. And like I said, Responder can still bid six hearts if, if uh, um, if opener bids five hearts. but it may make the difference between bidding six hearts and bidding seven hearts over um, six hearts. Hopefully that's, that's fairly clear. Is anybody not sure what I'm meaning there? So four no trumps is simply asking basically it's epsilon in spades is asking is finding out what opener's spades are, which will help um, responder gather how high we can go if we've got controls everywhere else. But those five club and five diamond bids are very useful um, because you you immediately find out how good the fit is. Okay, so that, that takes care of the four spade bid. Three spades, four hearts, showing 16 plus with hearts and both minors. Four no trumps shows both minors. And everything's natural over that. Um, responder can, can just bid five clubs or five diamonds or six clubs or six diamonds. Again, knowing that opener is five to nine with... Um, six six in the minors it should be fairly fairly easy to place the right level so over over again over four three spades four hearts five clubs and five diamonds both show the accol gambling three no trump hands um, anything in a side suit, i.e. in a major, or the other minor that respond to bids now, um, is a qubit agreeing the minor. And it's, it's basically asking opener to qubit a shortage if they have one. because the Akol gambling 3 no trump won't normally have an ace or a king outside. These, these inevitably have the nature of a Grand Slam force. 
um, because we're already committed to playing in six if opener bids anything over five clubs or five diamonds. So anything that they do bid is essentially looking for seven unless they just bid six themselves. So again, it's just if uh, if responder um, has a strong hand, they're just looking to find out where opener has a shortage, and they'll inevitably have one. So they just cubid their cheapest ace, um, but they've got to be very strong if they do that because you're committed to playing in a small slam regardless. So normally it would be a matter of bidding um, five diamonds over five clubs or five hearts over five diamonds if uh, responder is missing the ace in the next suit up it's unlikely that they're going to look for anything other than playing in five or playing in six and yes you might conceivably miss a grand slam uh, if you've got a shortage in the next suit up a singleton um, an opener happens to have a void there but it's not very likely okay any questions on uh, the four heart response to three spades Okay, and as you might expect, okay, so three spades, four spades, again, is a strong, very strong 16 plus hand with spades in both minors um, with a heart shortage. So these are slightly less complex, mainly because we've got less space. So over three spades, four spades um, so four no trumps as as over the four heart bid four no trump shows both minors and five clubs and five diamonds are the accol gambling and again the cubids over three spades, four spades, five clubs or five diamonds are exactly the same. Um, it's asking opener to cubit a shortage if they have one. But you've got to be very strong because these are in, you're going to be committed to, to playing in six of the minor regardless. Um, and again, they are of the nature of a Grand Slam force. So again, you can't, you really can't muck about with the requirements for your Accol gambling three no trumps. I would say ace, king, queen to seven is the absolute minimum that you would have. Um, I certainly wouldn't do it with king, queen, jack to eight because it's just too much of a gamble you're, you're basically gambling on partner having the ace of your minor 
So I wouldn't do it with King Queen Jack to eight. I, I would do it with Ace King Queen to seven, but more likely it's going to be Ace King Queen to eight because you just want one trick from partner. Yeah. Right. Okay. So after three spades, four spades, which is showing a heart shortage and <coughs> both minors, five hearts shows both majors and five spades is, uh, sorry, five hearts is upper range and five spades is lower range uh, because we're always going to be playing in spades here. Um, but spades are automatically going to be the agreed suit. So any bid in the side suit is a cubid. And again, it's essentially uh, looking for uh, opener to show where their void is. Seven, six hands are really very rare. Okay, any questions? Essentially, that's it for uh, the three spade bids. Um, I don't have any examples set up for the uh, um, the four heart and four spade responses, I'm afraid. Uh, I do have another couple of three no trump ones. Needless to say, the four heart and four spade responses are fairly rare. Um, So this is the hand that's never actually occurred in, in play once we fully develop the complex system. But just in case. Again, here, any 3-2 split um, or any 4-1 split if East happens to have the jack. Uh, and again, if they've got five card hearts, they can only possibly have uh, eight cards outside. And West has eight top tricks outside the heart suit. So it doesn't matter where, we can just draw trumps. Um, and then West's top tricks are just going to take care of everything else. It's difficult to come up with 32 to 33 balanced hands where you're not going to end up in a um, uh, at least a small slam. And one last one. I'm not suggesting, by the way, that you should alert the three spades as multi. It's just I can't be bothered putting in all the 
explanations every time. Um, And yes, you'll probably make six. But given that uh, south is only five to nine, um, there's not going to be many people getting to six diamonds here. You can't assume that south has got the ace of clubs or the ace of diamonds. South might choose to bid six diamonds over five diamonds. Um, clearly North has something. So with a 7-6 shape and a void in both majors and the ace of clubs. Um, South might well bid six diamonds over five diamonds. So any questions on anything that we've covered tonight? Three hearts or three spades? Okay, can we see? I've just looked at how many we've got here. One, two, three, four. Well, there are four of you. Um, can all of you just sit Mehmet Sona Would you care to sit? Sona, are you still there? Maybe he's away. Okay. Well, I'll say I don't mind playing one hand. I, I'm not going to include, by the way, examples of three hearts, because um, there's really there's really nothing to uh, yeah. 
in reality, Charlene, you would have to you would have to alert three spades a little bit more fully than just multi. I'll let you off with it today um, because we all know what it is. But in reality, you'd have to probably send send quite a complex message to both ops. Maybe just 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 alert it without explaining in the bidding box and explain it in a a message to to both ops a private message to both ops that's what i normally do and the beauty of this of course is that is that East West here don't have the faintest idea what's going on um, unless one of them has a huge long suit of their own and a strong hand they're not likely to to be in a position to disturb three no trumps Roger could be sat there with nothing um, almost or he could have quite a strong hand um, uh, so it's quite a potent weapon this But we can avoid the three no trumps when it suits us. For example, if Roger had a void club here, they would bid, he would bid four clubs. And again, if East West just doubled three no trump bid, uh, Roger can choose to escape because it's usually going to be utterly obvious which minor um, North has when they pass three no trumps. And if it's subsequently, yeah, I will lead. Um... Optimistic, Roger, but I'll let you off. So, yeah, um, Roger's going to take his nine tricks and uh, we will take the rest. Any questions? Hmm, Mehmet, 6-6, six, six. which part of the word 6-6 six, six did you not understand? And, and you're at the wrong, absolutely the wrong vulnerability to come in here with a preempt. <laughs> No, but, but, no, the point is Mehmet shouldn't interfere. Not at red versus green. Again, you have to have, if you've got five to nine hands, you've got to have an eye to the vulnerability here. Second in hand with a five to nine at red against green is not the time to come in with any kind of a preemptive bid because you've got a 50% chance that actually the person you're going to be preempting is partner it's not the case here but Okay, so now Roger's four diamonds shows the 11 to 15 hand with at least 6-6 six, six in the majors. Uh, 
Um, okay. I, I wouldn't bid four spades in a million years, Charlene. Four spades is to play. Parton's got 11 to 15 points with at least 6-6 six, six in the majors. you got... So he's got to have six spades. And the chances are he's got... He's either got a stiff ace somewhere and a void... A stiff ace in one minor and a void in the other. Or he's got 11 points concentrated in those two uh, in those two majors right so five diamonds is um, gamma in spades six card minimum length Okay, so one top honour in spades. But he's going to have six of them. You have to remember that, that he's 6-6 six, six here and he's 11-15. to 15. And if he's got something like a stiff queen of diamonds, he's probably... Um, not going to be including that in his point count or he oughtn't to so given the concentration of points that you've got in the majors Charlene how many points can he have oh no 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 look sorry you've got to think about this Charlene he's got 11 points And he's 6-6 six, six in the majors. Even if he's got an ace, a singleton ace in a minor. That means he's going to have at least seven points in the majors to add to what you've got in the majors. You do the math. Can you afford to bid five no trumps relay beta? Yes, you can. You're going to bid six spades anyway. You might as well bid five no trumps and find out how many controls he's got. Because, because that's going to tell you everything. Uh, no, Roger. Have we have we forgotten everything that we covered over the last twelve months here? Five no trumps is relay beta. There is absolutely no way that North can possibly want to play in five no trumps when they've made a gamma ask in spades. It's inconceivable. So five no trumps is just asking how many controls you have. It's just relay beta. Ah, much better. Okay, so four controls. Again, you do the math, Charlene. How can he possibly have four controls when he's 6-6, six, six, given what you have in the majors? He 
he's got an outside ace. But more importantly, he's got to have the king of spades and he's got to have the king of hearts. So he's got a void in one minor and a stiff ace in the other. Where do you want to play? Absolutely. Do you see what I mean, Charlene? You, 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 you can't afford not to go through this sequence when you've got the ace of both majors and the queen in the other. No, it's okay. It's all right. It's your first time up against these sorts of hands. Sometimes it takes a while before you really appreciate the awesome playing power of 6-6 six, six hands because you're not used to it. Um, you know, this is a hand, even if Roger's absolute rock bottom minimum um, and he hasn't got the stiff ace outside, you know, if he's got just a small, a small club, for example, um, so if he's got a small club he's got 11 points in fact it's almost it's, it's very difficult for him to have 11 points um, he might have if he doesn't have the stiff ace he might have 10 points and have upgraded but it would mean he's got the king queen jack of spades and the king jack of hearts So, so six spades is absolutely, given given what North has in their hand, six spades is the absolute minimum. So you can afford to use gamma, you can afford to use relay beta, because in practice the most number of controls that South can possibly have is four, and that's if they've got a stiff ace and the king of both majors. Okay, any questions? Interesting approach. Okay, so five clubs is Puppet Stamen.
Okay, so... Right, so what would Mehmet do here if he had ace to five spades? He would bid seven spades. Okay, clearly I'm telling you that I've got really good spades, but I'm missing the ace. Or missing a top honour, put it that way. Probably the ace or king. So if Mehmet had a top honour in spades, either the ace or the king, um, they would bid seven. Because I'm always going to, you know, the West, the strong hand here is always going to assume that the responder has nothing. Because almost all the high card points in the pack are in the West hand. You have to remember it's quite difficult to construct... Uh, 32 to 33 point balanced hands where you, where West doesn't have almost everything. But obviously if my stiff ace king of clubs were, if you swap around the West black suits here, then I would probably just bid five spades over five hearts and let East make the running. So East can't assume that I've got a huge fit for their suit. But I have to show it if I do. <laughs> Three no trumps doesn't actually show anything, Charlene. All you have to do is to alert it as an automatic relay. Okay, so four clubs is both minors. Six six. So what's what's double here? Anybody? Absolutely, it has to be take out with both majors and a strong hand. 
a note that I don't have to bid anything over three spades because I know I'm going to get another chance to bid if I understand what the three spade sequences involve. So I can afford to wait until South has shown what they have. No, I remember. One off. Cheap at the price. Well done, Roger. North's got to have club support here because they don't have to bid anything over the double of four clubs. So they must want to play in five clubs. The only thing possibly is that I'm not sure bidding six clubs immediately over five spades is right. I think I would leave it up to uh, North as to whether they double five spades or sacrificed in six clubs. And clearly when South is five to nine and North has only got a five count, um, a singleton in one minor and four card support for the other when you're known to be at least 6-6 six, six, um, clearly sacrificing is the sensible thing five spades romps home And in fact, a, a lot of East-West pairs are going to sacrifice in six spades and go off. And you get an even better result.
sorry, I forgot to set the convention cards here, which will make life a little bit easier for you. Okay, Mema, if you, if you, I'm not sure when you came in in the lesson, I don't think you were here to start with. Um, this is a hand that doesn't want to play in three no trumps if you've got a, an Akol style gambling three no trumps based on a club suit. Almost always it's showing a weakish hand um, or, or almost any hand with uh, avoiding clubs. Okay, so clearly three no trumps is an absolute non-starter here. Um, the West hand can never reach all these clubs. So it's clearly um, foolish for West to, uh, and, it, and it's also obvious um, pretty much from the go that East has got an alcohol gambling three no trumps with clubs. Um, so four clubs is is just saying if you've got a, a gambling three no trumps with clubs just pass four clubs because we've got nothing else so if I wanted to play in if I had a strong hand with lots of controls I might bid five clubs rather than four clubs and again the the implication of that is utterly clear that I still have avoiding clubs but I've now got enough controls and tricks outside that I fancy our chances of making five clubs. And still, if uh, if East had both miners, he would bid five diamonds over five clubs. And if he... Haha. <laughs> Well-known tactic, Roger. Well-known. <laughs> but again, any continuations, if it went three spades, five clubs, any continuations would be natural. So pass would show the gambling style three no trump with clubs. Five diamonds would show five to nine with both minors. Five hearts would show 11 to 15 with... Um, both majors and five no trumps would show 32 to 33 balanced. Okay, so all, essentially all the continuations are based on a bit of a minor by 
west showing a void in that minor whether you bid it at the four level or the five level Yeah, well, I've got another uh, six to go after this one, if we've got time, but we've only got 20 minutes left, so. We might not get more than, we might not get more. No, wrong one, Roger. You're worried about him having clubs, aren't you? Ninety-nine times out of a hundred, Roger, what is North going to have here? So this is essentially showing a void club. Aha. Uh -huh. So unexpectedly, North got the Akol gambling Trino Trumps with a diamond suit, not clubs. No, natural, Roger. Um, because pretty much you can write down North's hand here. They're going to have ace, king, queen to seven or eight diamonds and nothing else. But do you care? Absolutely. You know they haven't got the ace of hearts. You know that they've got the ace, king, queen of diamonds because they won't bid an Akol gambling three no trump with less than that. Anything they've got in clubs you can rough. So six diamonds is absolutely spot on. Um, yes, claim. Just claim your 12 tricks, Charlene.
another one to get uh, John Lutz uh, juices flowing. So hopefully you're starting to see how these sequences actually help us to diagnose really good fits. Um, I'm only explaining this for Mamet because I'm not sure if he's got voice and I'm not sure he was here at the start of the lesson. Okay, um, six clubs is a really good bet here. Um, but I'd be wrong to go seven clubs because there's no way we probably don't have a loser in one major or the other. And as has happened here, um, Charlene's got a, a difficult hand to lead from. And we're actually going to make an over trick in six clubs. Yes, it's possible that uh, East has, say, Queen Jack to six diamonds. They don't have to have the king. Um, and that would be a 50% slam, but you've been in a lot worse. I've certainly been in a lot worse than that. And you'd want to be in six clubs on that finesse. Well, no, not necessarily, Charlene. I, you know, you may be setting up a heart trick for me, but that's not going to, you know... I, I wouldn't lead the ace of hearts, to be honest, because if Mehmet's got a spade singleton, for the sake of example, 
um, he's going to rough the ace of hearts and if I've got the king you know you've given a trick away not that it's going to cost anything I'm not sure I would be more likely to lead a club with your hand rather than anything else like I said if 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 Mehmet did have Queen Jack to six diamonds you've just taken the diamond finesse for me I would play totally passively here um, I'd probably just lead a club and, and if we've got what we've got um, but I wouldn't worry about about you know if you want to lead the ace of hearts then lead the ace of hearts uh, um, because even if you set up a trick for my king the chances are that that uh, that king of hearts isn't going to do me any good I'm going to be discarding probable winners on it when when East is 6-6 six, six in the minors um, I might get to discard you know say a losing spade but the chances are that I've got all the tricks I need in diamonds anyway and nothing nothing that you lead is going to stop six diamonds from making on this hand yes the ace of hearts stops the over trick but the chances are that the over trick actually is making any difference at all to the imp score there's not many people going to get to um, six clubs on this deal certainly not on BBO okay we'll try and uh, beat our nine hand record from last time No, Charlene, you've forgotten. You've forgotten, haven't you? 16 plus hearts and both minors. This is just a way of kickstarting the bidding. Okay. You, you would get to the right contract if you bid three no trumps, I'm sure. But bidding four, four, bidding four hearts is a way of kick-starting it because it immediately shows Roger where you're going to play and that you've got a strong hand with a spade shortage. Um, yeah really Roger you should bid <laughs> four no trumps Roger is showing both minors four spades here shows both majors so four spades is in the nature of a relay that just shows both majors 11 to 15 Porno Trump shows both minors, which is not really what you want to show. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so now four no trumps is epsilon in spades. Uh, it's too late because <laughs> the chances are that Charlie's going to bid six diamonds over four no trumps. If not seven diamonds. Probably six diamonds. Okay, so now four no trumps would be epsilon in spades. Okay, Charlene, um, I'll, I'll give you the options and you can decide which one to bid. Okay. Um, so four spades shows both majors, 11 to 15. Uh, and that's probably, it's probably now four no trumps is actually where you want to go. Uh, Roger's got 11 to 15 with at least 6-6 six, six in uh, the majors. So it's unlikely that they have anything in the minors at all. Absolutely right, yes. But you want to find out whether he's got the ace of spades or not. It's almost impossible to construct a, an 11 to 15 hand um, for for South, where they don't have the King of Hearts. It is possible. So, so the four heart bid effectively, when Roger bids four spades, bypasses all the need for gamma and anything else. Okay. The important thing here is that we're missing, we're missing the king of spades. Which you don't care about, but it does now mean that they've got a maximum of seven points in spades and since they can't have a stiff ace in a minor in other words they haven't got any points that they're including there it means they pretty much have to have at least four points in hearts which in turn means they have to have the king So you can work out from the six club bid that Roger's got the ace of spades and the king of hearts. And he's got six hearts, at least. Well, again, as I said before, you, you know, you're not used to handling 6-6 six, six hands but you know you've got at least an 11 card heart fit and you've got the ace and king you see if Roger's if Roger hasn't got he can't have a stiff ace in one of the minors and avoid in the other he can't have it because you've got the ace of both minors so he's got 11 to 15 points in the majors just in the major suits the most he can have in spades if he's missing the king is the ace queen jack which means he must have four points in hearts even allowing for shading he must have three so yes it's conceivable he might shade with queen jack to six hearts but 99 times out of 100, it means he's going to have the king. And that's all you need. Bravo.
Okay. It takes a while, you know. Obviously, th these six six hands, Charlene, don't come up very often, and and they have a playing strength, and there are inferences that you can take when you've got these asking and inquiry sequences. There are inferences that you can take, and it takes a while to get used to dealing with them. Um, but that's why that four no trump epsilon in space is there, because when you've got this sort of a hand, it tells you so much about their hand just by finding out a whether they've got the ace of spades and b what else they've got in spades. You see, if you six diamonds over four no trumps, showing first, second, and third round control of spades, in other words, he's got ace, king, queen to six, now you can't assume that he's got uh, the, king of, of, the king of hearts. So you might just wimp out in six hearts. Actually, I'll probably bid seven regardless, but there you go. Um, do you see what I mean? So, so when he shows when he shows the ace king queen, you can't be sure. But when he shows, you know, if he if he showed first round control of spades without anything else. Now you can be absolutely certain that he's probably got ace jack to six spades and king queen uh, to five to six hearts. Have to be, and he's upgraded from ten to eleven. Okay, uh, last hand, and then we'll call it a night. So sorry we haven't beaten the nine, Roger. But we, we've equaled it. Uh, they're probably the same nine hands, aren't they, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> I don't No, Charlie, not at all. Not at all. Oh, that's very good of you, Charlene. Bravo. Very good, Roger. Glad to see somebody's been paying attention. Again, you can't afford to bid three no trumps here with this hand. Um, whatever North has.
Okay, so essentially this is looking, this qubit of five hearts, Charlene, it's, it's looking for seven clubs here. So, So basically, it's asking you to qubit a shortage if you have one. Well, you can. And actually, you should. Because the implication of five hearts is that Roger couldn't cubed five diamonds I mean actually he ought to have cubed five diamonds but <coughs> There is another way of looking at this, actually. Um, okay. Okay, um, just claim Charlene, and I'm just going to point out something about this hand. Just claim. Okay, I'll just point something out here, Roger. I mean, actually, I think this bidding sequence really with the south hand ought to go three spades, four spades, five clubs, seven clubs. What are the chances of north having a heart void here? What are the chances? The chance of, of North being void in hearts is right up there with uh, um, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean all you know the five even the five diamonds cubid isn't really helping you here. Um, it's a way of double checking that they don't have a heart shortage, but even a heart singleton is enough if they've got eight clubs. and a singleton heart they can only have four cards between uh, spades and diamonds and your ace king in both those suits are going to take care of them so as long as you just get one heart rough you're going to be able to claim 13 tricks so you don't really need to ask anything here even if it turns out that North does have a heart void. They must have a doubleton in either spades or diamonds. And so your chances of not being able to establish that suit for a discard in the other is very, very small. So I would just bid seven clubs over four clubs. I wouldn't bother with anything else. OK, guys, listen, I'm going to call it a night there. Because um, I haven't even had dinner yet, and it's now seven minutes past midnight. Um, so, uh, 
Um, that's the end of the complex system. Uh, there's nothing this Saturday, but next Saturday, the simple system starts again. So the 23rd of September, uh, the simple system starts again. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it, those who've stuck with it. Um, uh, attendance has been a little bit patchy, uh, with not always the same people coming to all of it. Uh, and I, I mean, even if you've got no immediate intention to, to start using the complex, at least when you come up against it, um, you'll uh, you'll have some idea of what's going on and uh, who knows once you've really got to grips with the simple system the complex system is huge fun even if it doesn't add an enormous amount because most of the hand types are pretty rare but it's great fun to play all right guys good night and uh, we'll see you next Saturday excellent superb and good luck with your transcription, uh, Charlene. <laughs>